Dream, search, drive. Cars.coza. We create smiles with parts you can count on. When it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars. Nice cup of tea. So, yep, I go and get my bag ready to go away for a few days and hopefully we'll have a lovely time. It's a good day for travelling as well. A lovely day for travelling. Oh, now let's see. Ah, I think we'll take this. Let me just open the door. Uh, and away we go, away we go. Hello everybody, uh, my name's Barry. Yes, the car I'm driving is a Nissan 2012 GTR R35. The car's been modified quite a bit. I like fast cars. I get easily bored if I'm not driving. It's terrible, really. But this thing is unbelievable. You can potter along. I can go to pick and pay, get a loaf of bread, a pint of milk. And I don't have to exceed 2,000 RPM. On the other hand, I can drive at 200 k's all day long, or more, a lot more, and uh, get some nonsense out of my head. And this is a very good machine for getting nonsense out of your head. I've got different maps on this. I use EcuTech. I've got four maps on this. I'm just riding, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, we're in the lowest power, uh, power setting at the moment, it's probably only about eight, nine hundred uh, brake horsepower, I suppose. Uh, but you can go to map four, and if I run ethanol, about 40 or 50 percent ethanol, then it will go to, I don't know, probably 1200 brake horsepower, which is not bad, and you can still drive it around, that's a nice thing. So I think, in a way, I've got the best of uh, both worlds. I really am fortunate. And this is one of the things I wanted in life even when I was a kid. It's a bit of fun and you need a bit of fun in life. Otherwise you go crackers. We're sitting here now at um, Uppington Airport and tomorrow we're going to uh, race it on their runway. Their runway is nearly five kilometres long and we're going to race it and try and do a top end run as well as well as say a standing quarter and all the, all the usual stuff and it's a nice little thing that I uh, wanted to do and so I can tick it off my uh, bucket list. The car's a 2012 one, so it's 10 years old now. I've had the car for about at least nine years, and it was standard when I bought it. It's a DBA as opposed to the CBA models. And of course I got a bit fed up with it because it was standard, so things that people do, they send their cars overseas to get it modified, and that's exactly what I did. I sent it overseas to a company called SVM in Pommy. They kept it for six months, did some heavy modifications and flew it back to me. And that was about seven years ago, something like that. So when it was overseas, they changed the crankshaft. So it's running a, um, a short block now. It's 4.1, usually it'd be 3.8, but it's 4.1. Changed the rods, pistons. We've had the valve springs cha uh, changed so the car can run safely now to 8,000 instead of 7,000. Turbochargers, have been, I can't remember what they are. They're some fancy Garrett ones anyway, Garrett turbochargers, they've both been uh, replaced. car runs on ethanol so it's a flexi fuel vehicle and the exhaust system has been changed as well from front to back from the block all the way to out as well so it's been totally uh, overhauled the exhaust system. Brakes, we haven't done too much with brakes we've changed the, the discs so it's got some better discs on and better 
pads as well, better pads. So the gearbox has been completely rebuilt, very strong because all the old bins, uh, gears have been changed completely. The main shaft, secondary shaft, all, all six gears have been changed. So it's very strong and I've been told uh, it'll take probably at least 2,000 brake horsepower for anything it's going to even wear. And I've done, I don't know, maybe 20,000 Ks on it since it's been modified. And as far as the gearbox is concerned, no issues at all. You get one or two little whining errors. That's because they're straight cut gears. But it hasn't got worse. And that's seven years ago. You know. so, and I don't race it, but I do now and again do naughty things. But so the gearbox, as far as I know, is in perfect condition, unlike me. So we're just about to start the run just now. But it's a wonderful runway. I think it's the largest in the Southern Hemisphere as far as I know, and it's in beautiful condition. And I've got to hurry up because I believe the plane is coming in in about an hour, so I better not bugger around too much. I was a speed freak, but when I got to 350 or whatever it was, kilometers an hour, I just lost my nerve. This is very bad, it's a sign of getting old, I suppose. And I backed off, I wasn't even flat out. Hello! One of my things off my bucket list. It was over 200 miles now, I'm not sure what it was, but I've done that, never done that before in my life. Fantastic, fantastic. Jeez, not bad. now so maybe when I'm 80 I'll have to slow down we create smiles with parts you can count on when it comes to finding the right part at the right price there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars thanks very much for watching if you've just watched this video but you haven't yet subscribed to our channel you absolutely should do that immediately right now click the subscribe button it's a good idea for a bunch of reasons which I actually don't have really a lot of time to go into but uh, it's good it's a good idea excellent thanks for watching I said that already dream search drive cars.coza